I'm getting very excited about this. We've basically got about five months solid of rugby now, and it's amazing. Rugby Championship into the World Cup warm-ups, into the World Cup, into, on October the 28th, crowning a world champion. And the journey for New Zealand and Argentina starts here. They play in the round one of the Rugby Championship. The teams have both been announced, just been announced, and I'm going to uh, go across both teams Combine the two 15s together and see how that shakes down. But I think the takeaway headline is um, DMAC is here to save us all um, whilst wearing the number 10 jersey. Maybe. We will see. I think Richie Moonga might have something to say about that. But DMAC is in. That's that's the headline. But there's lots more to talk about besides. So uh, I'm going to crack on with both teams, starting with Argentina. Actually, before I do, hit subscribe. Because like I say, there's so much rugby coming up in the weeks and months ahead. And... I want to talk with you about it. So hit subscribe, get stuck in in the comments. What do you make of these teams? Starting with Argentina and Michael Checker. Named a pretty good team, actually, I've got to say. And what's noticeable, and this goes for both sides and South Africa as well, is the people that aren't available. Argentina have put out a, a really good team and that doesn't include Marcus Kremer. He will be back for that first game in the World Cup against England. Um... Geronimo de la Fuente isn't involved. Uh, Chocobares, another centre, isn't involved. Malia, uh, fullback winger, isn't involved. Imoff, Cordero, not involved. Outside backs. Uh, Issa in the back row. Schiavi in the front row. So they've got... Starting to build a bit of depth, Argentina, although I still think there are some huge holes in their side. They have world-class players, which, which are on the field, in Julian Montoya, uh, Hooker... Uh, Pablo Matera in the back row, Emiliano Buffelli at fullback. And I think there is the potential world-class status. I think this game, building up to Argentina and New Zealand, this game should all be about the number 10s. DMAC, can he, can he make the 10 jersey his own for New Zealand? Santiago Carreras, can he deliver on the potential that this guy has? He is box office. I absolutely love Santi Carreras. He's fearless, modern 10 and I'm hoping that Argentina and Michael Checker's team just 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 let just put Santiago Carreras in charge, let him do his thing because uh, that, that that guy is very very special. Um, when you look at the side, I think the pack's pretty handy. Um, let, let's we start the sweepstake now on how many minutes before Thomas Lavanini's got a red card. We'll we'll, we'll see, but it's a, it's a pretty handy um, handy pack that. Uh, the backs concern me a little. I mean, they've got some firepower. Mateo Carreras is... I mean, I hope he can translate to international rugby what he's been doing. And I've been fortunate enough working on the on the premiership in England the last couple of years. That guy is ridiculous. But they've got some gaps. And when you look on the bench, which I'm kind of <laughs> covering up, sorry about that, um, you see that there's not a great deal of depth and they've got issues in certain positions like scrum half. But all in all... That's that's a good enough Argentina team that, that worries me. As an England fan, that, that worries me for that first game in the World Cup, so I will be watching very carefully. But I'll tell you what, I'm watching New Zealand even more closely because the team is in and there it is. And uh, the front row is good. Uh, I mean, again, on the players that aren't involved, you can see what Ian Foster's doing. He's giving a bit of a rest to some of those guys that were involved in the Super Rugby final. And so Takeaho is not involved and... and um, Dane Coles is getting the start at hooker. Maybe just to wind up Thomas Lavanini. He's good at that. Uh, second row, Josh Lord is starting. Scott Barrett alongside. So Whitelock and Retallick not there. And in the back row, looks pretty good to me. Um, with Papali and uh, on, on the bench. Um, it's in the backs so that's the interesting stuff. Damian McKenzie is wearing the 10 jersey. I was only having a chat with Rich, the rugby analyst, uh, on a video released yesterday. Uh, and we, we were talking about the relative merits. I think this basically paints the picture. That this is a shootout between DMAC and uh, Richie Mwanga for that 10 jersey. And maybe Bowden Barrett, who's 15 there, is, is going to be uh, the boy at 15. Although, obviously, Will Jordan will have something to say about that. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. Uh, he's... Damien McKenzie is he's actually got all of the skills and he great kicker obviously good defensive player tough nuggety little character with the flair as well if he can deliver on the international stage he he could be amazing because Richie Mwanga has been brilliant in super rugby and flashes of brilliance at international level Dmac 
Will he be the same or can he step out from the shadows? This is a huge 80 minutes for him and a, and a, and a big month building up to the World Cup because that, that 10 jersey is open. Someone could grab it and make it theirs. Um, Narawa on debut in on the wing is really exciting. That's good to see. Um, I mean, some people were hoping that Sean Stevenson would be getting a run out, but he's not. And you kind of wonder, does that, does that, what does that signal and what does that mean for Stevenson? Uh, no Roy Guard either. Um, scrum half with in fact, shall I just shall I just jump out of the picture for a minute so you can see the bench as well? I'll do that. Get my ugly mug off the screen. There you go. And uh yeah. Pretty handy back line. Very excited to see Narawa and uh Bodhi. The boy. At fullback. I don't know, some people have been quite uninspired by this. And when you look on the bench, you, you can see why. Alau Lala and Tunga Farsi slightly lacking in kind of inspiration and impact. And Christie, when people want Roygaard, I, I, can, I can see the complaints. And Enna on the bench, I think he's there because Geordie Barrett covers the back three. But then people were looking for maybe someone like Stevenson at least to be on the bench. But he's not there. What do you make of that side and that squad? Um... And with France, what, four games away? September the 8th, it's coming up fast. Uh, how confident are you? I'll tell you what I will say is, and you'll see this, I, well, I've taken the two 15s, and, or 23s actually, and put all 46 players together to create a combined team, man for man, who would get the jersey. And I think it paints a bit of a picture actually that Argentina are good up front because uh, I've picked four of their players over their New Zealand counterparts. Um, but as much as as much as the backup props maybe are lacking a bit of inspiration for New Zealand, I think Ethan De Groot and Tyrell Lomax, I think they are class, and I think by the end of the World Cup they could be regard regarded in the kind of manner that Kitsoff and Malherb were after twenty nineteen. I really really rate them, but the backline, look at that. I mean. I couldn't put Narawa in. I'm really excited, but he, he he is on debut, so I can't just chuck him straight in. And Matteo Carreras has been awesome, but uh, there is an argument that every one of those players could have been an, a New Zealander. Um, Santi Carreras, I've given the nod at 10 because I think he's an absolute baller, although I'm very, very excited to see DMAC there, and I think he could have me eating my words by Saturday evening, so uh, we will see. Um, but that's what I've done with my combined team. Do you agree with that? Disagree? What, what do you make of it? Do you think... It is as even up front as that. And do you think New Zealand are as dominant behind as that? That's the question I'd like to know. And um, are you excited about the new reign of DMAC? Look at those luscious locks. He's been working on I'm trying to grow my own hair a little bit um, into a bit of a bro flow like, uh, like DMAC's got. But I've got, I've got a ways to go. Uh, what a boy. I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited. By the way, uh, going to be in France for the Rugby World Cup. And I'm hoping, waiting, fingers, everything crossed, that I may well be in the stadium on September the 8th for uh, for France versus New Zealand. And that is what this is all about for New Zealand. And for Argentina, it's all about that first game against England. That is going to go... Those two opening games in the World Cup are going to go a long way to deciding the destiny for these teams. So um, that's where... That's the prize. But this weekend is a... Big, big step along the way, and I uh, cannot wait. I'll uh, I'll have coverage and reaction over the weekend, so uh, hit that little subscribe button, check in regularly. I'm Tim, this is Egg Chasers, and nice one for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.